My name is Jose Parla, uh, and I'm here to do a project um, at Caldera Arts. I've been working with children throughout the years in an inspirational way of uh, sharing what an artist does and thinking about art in an unusual way, in unusual places. Who's done painting before? Who loves painting? And when many people started in the 70s and myself in the 80s, we called it writing. To me, it's a form of communication and an important gestural form of art and art making. The youth found it necessary to express themselves and I think that it happened as a phenomenon, not so much as a movement, but more something that was organically happening. I think it just came naturally out of kids. So to share it back with kids now that uh, I'm sort of a grown kid myself is important. We got to paint and learn different techniques from Jose. Painting in general is really fun. It's really fun watching how he does it and learning some new tricks. In the time that I was a teenager, there weren't people like me doing that. And I find it interesting to be able to now have a, a cycle and I guess be an inspiration. Jose showed us all these techniques, ways that you can move your wrist, and how to make lines in the paper so that you can make it look abstract. Three things I learned from him to really play around and explore how to do a monoprint with paint and to really look for things that maybe you wouldn't have before and look for the life in them. It's about just self-expression and allowing people to arrive at their own conclusion while they're working. I don't do much teaching really, I do more sharing and, and, and I become part of the project with the students. I feel like this kind of art is very expressive. It helped me connect with the people that were in the group. It's a lot more active it seems than the other works that I've done. Writing on walls, painting. I just liked how everyone was walking around and just the energy in the room was really focused on work but also everyone was having a lot of fun. When you're young it's hard to find a direction in what you want and I was really lucky to have a direction very early on in my life and to be passionate enough about that to follow it. If you know that you're really passionate about something Find a way to associate yourself with the kind of people that will instill positivity in your path. Don't let bad influences sort of enter your life and send you on the, onto the wrong path. Those things will happen, that's life. But my message is to just remain very focused and to follow your, your dreams and your passion. My name is Pebbles and my favorite thing about today was writing my name super big on the wall over there. My name is Batman and I appreciate all the wonderful artists that came here. My name is Bedazzle and thank you Caldera for providing me a new view of the world.